people we all support the terms of like yeah people need to take me for who i am you cannot expect the man that you want to be with to be like there 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 and then you you don't want to work on yourself you don't want to do nothing hi guys we are going to do a chit chat but then as we do that i'm going to do my makeup so basically i'm going to talk about what evolving into 26 means to me because I believe as a person, like I've really evolved some of the things I used to expect, some of the things I used to do. The person I used to be isn't the person I am now. Like way back, if someone should tell me, oh my God, you have changed. Like, you know, I'll be like, oh no, oh no. But now, if someone is just like, oh my God, you have changed. I'm like, thank you. Like, hello, like, thank you. I think I'm getting this wrong. What is that? I like to do, from, from the person I was trying to learn from, it seems like it's good for you to do your eyebrows first but right now i don't know what i'm doing on my eyebrows so wait like let me pause and kind of like go clean this up i think i applied too much when i used to be in the past it's not the woman i am now and it's because it just didn't happen overnight okay over time i realized some things that i needed to change in my life i needed some attitudes that needed to take out from my life so that i can expect people to kind of like treat me better i can expect people to treat me how they're supposed to treat me i think 25 was one of the best it has forced me to to get to the point where i need to evaluate who i want to be in the longer run. when i want to be to my kids the you know the woman i want to be to obviously the man i'm going to end up with and most important kind of person i want to be like just me me as a person because outside of a relationship we are all individual people and i just want to I, I just want to be a better person you've been at a point in your life where you've been forced to face the traumas that you're trying to hide away from are trying to run away from push yourself into the space to start healing posted a video about like, the dating myths that i believe as a young christian and i was able to talk about it because i've gotten to the point where i've evaluated some of the things that i believed that are not actually necessarily true okay so i had to come to the point where i'm being real with myself I'm like no this needs to go this needs to go because i know we all support the terms of like yeah people need to take me for who i am and all of that today i was talking i was talking to my friend about it you know you cannot expect the man that you want to be with to be like there 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 and then you you don't want to work on yourself you don't want to do nothing not that you're not deserving of that you, you are deserving of that but then you don't want to do any work on yourself but then you you want a man that has done work on themselves okay i'm just applying like just a little so you just want to you don't want to work on yourself but then you want a man that has worked on themselves the, there was this quote that i saw that god doesn't give like you know, i think god will just release is some one of his best hands to like you know you who have not done work on yourself and you don't even want to do work on yourself the man that you want just like i spoke in my other video about the myth that i believed the list where you want the man to tick the boxes on your list you just have to ask yourself do you take the boxes on the man's list as well and this is what to, it will kind of like take you to the point where you really have to do a very good evaluation not you know not only necessarily with the man but then the friends that you want to attract into your life do those kind of friends want to attract you into their lives i know most of us don't really want to talk about this but then it's absolutely important it's absolutely important for you to evaluate that are you the woman that the people that you want in your life wants to be in their life right from a very young age through high school and all of that i met people who just wanted to be friends with me just because like i was kind of like just maybe good academically or anything like that and they were not necessarily interested in who i was as a person way back i could make such an excuse that oh like i didn't know i cannot identify like i couldn't identify the cues of when like someone actually really like you for who you are or someone is just there because of what they really want from you but like over time i have really um 
come to learn a lot and i've come to realize when someone is just in my life just because of what they can get from me that should actually contribute to me making better decisions in the kind of like friends i keep around in the kind of friends i really want in um, like in my life but it is also push me to the point where the kind of friends that i want in my life to also work on myself to be that that kind of like person that those friends who also want and i'm just so grateful to god that i get to get the opportunity to really reflect and be like okay yeah this is what i want to change about my life it's not like a final decision of all the things that i, I can change like you know it's 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 just like a process one day at a time so i've come I've, I've gotten to the point where i'm like okay this is what i'm going to change in my life I'm going to start working on the smaller things over time i'm able to make bigger progress as compared to like me making trying to make a very 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 big change and then failing at it you understand i already want my mascara i realized that i really want to be in a very safe space mentally for that reason, I'm just like, yo, I got to do better. I have to do better. It requires me being accountable to myself and then to others as well. Mm -hmm.